So we're going to return these two, get a coupon, use the coupon at Best Buy for the book and just the credit for the game because we already have the game. So Chris has gone into the GameStop to get the returns that we wanted to do today and then we're going to go to Best Buy and I want to kind of show you what the shopping center looked like. This is the Ticat New Shopping Center. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back from Australia and I did take a project while I was there and you'll probably recall this from um, some time ago. I'll put a link to that video um, when I first showed it. But this is the zig this is the zigzag scarf and it's gotten pretty big. I want to say it's just about, it's almost my height, so it's on the floor and it goes right up to here, but the colors, oh, I dropped it, <laughs> but the colors are amazing. So, so I wasn't allowed to use my cell phone while I was at my workplace when I was in Australia. So I did a lot of knitting, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I didn't have access to the internet really that much. Um, the internet at the, uh, at the lodging that I stayed at was really, really poor. Uh, max 3G and I only was able to get on Facebook for a couple of minutes a day, not very long at all. So I only posted uh, status updates on occasion. Um, to my fa friends and family. I was really roughing it. Uh, you, you just, when you go somewhere that doesn't have the same amenities that you're used to, um, you really become, well at least I really became appreciative of the sad internet services I have here in Alaska because prior to living in Alaska, I lived in Georgia and the internet service was fine there. It was, it was quick. So this is my souvenir essentially. <laughs> Every time I wear this and look at this, I'm going to think about Australia. Um, so far I've used three balls of, uh, actually six balls of sock yarn. And if I can remember, or if I can find the ball bands for the yarn, I will definitely let you know. Then the other project that I, I did not complete, but I pretty much came very close to completing before I left was the uh, what I've been calling the mad granny square um, uh, throw or blanket this is what I've got so far and it is on the floor and the same length as the scarf and as you can tell quite a bit quite a bit lo uh, long uh, wider but every single square on this is unique 100% um, unique <laughs> so I think it was a really fun project and I just have to sew in the bits of yarn and put a border on it and then it's going to be washed and I'm going to block it and this is going to stay in the car The other project that I was working on last was the virus shawl. And I'm, I'm just about done with it. I think that all I have to do is a border. I don't have much yarn left. As you can see, there's very little yarn left in it. So it has to be blocked. And it's sure gonna be pretty 
I love the colors. I mean, it's, it's not as long as the other uh, shawl that I did, but uh, it's very pretty. Wear it this way. Probably wear it this way more. I like the idea of putting like beads, like weighted beads, um, on the ends to kind of keep it, you know, from flying over my shoulder when the wind blows or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I like it. So I'm looking forward to getting that done. Hopefully in the next week or so. But I've been really working on the zigzag scarf, um, at least you know, five to ten rows a day, just to try and knock out what I can. So anyway, that's what I've been working on as far as my crafts goes. I do have a painting that I wanted to share with you, but I never finished it. Um, I'll go on and share it with you. No, 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 I'm not going to share it with you. I'm going to share it with you when I'm actually finished with it. And what else did I do? That's pretty much as far as crafting goes. Uh, I'm going to insert a slideshow of some hiking adventures. Uh, it's just a few photos. I'm not going to put a hundred photos on there. I'm just going to pick, you know, maybe five photos to put so you can see the beauty that I saw of the Norwegian Territory in Australia. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye. So I did not drive while I was in Australia. Let's be clear, I'm not driving and filming at the same time. I was a passenger the whole time because I was absolutely terrified to drive on what I perceived the wrong side of the street. I don't feel like I'm a very strong driver, even though I've been driving for over 20 years, so I just did not feel comfortable driving. And as you see, we're doing roundabouts, and that's not something that's common in the United States. So it would always terrify me when we do a round, you know, get into the roundabout because I didn't know whether or not the cars that were going to come were going to yield to us or not. So anyway, this is something that I hold dear to my heart. And I guess next time I go overseas and if they drive on what I perceive is the wrong side of the street, I'll try. I'll try and drive. But we'll see. Okay, they all quiet down when I start recording. It was much louder than this a second ago, I promise.